Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let us learn what is a trigger and how many different triggers are there? How many different types of triggers are available? Now, if I ask you, what is a trigger? So you will say, trigger is a mechanism that is available in the UiPath orchestrator or in UI path through which we can start a job, right? Trigger. Now, what kind of, so the, remember this word, start a job. What is the meaning of trigger? Starting a job. You can start a job in a, in three ways, in three different ways. What are those three different ways? The very first way is time-based trigger. The first one is time-based triggers and the second one you can start a job based on the time based on the time you would like to start a job the second option is based on queue okay queue based triggers queue based triggers this is your second option you should answer the trigger means you i want to start a job and there are three different ways four different currently actually there are four different ways okay one is time based i would like to start a job every day at 8 a.m. Start a job every day at 8 a.m. So what kind of a trigger it is? This is a time-based trigger, right? Now let's understand the second one, queue-based trigger. Queue-based means it always depends on a parameter. So this always depends on the parameter called time. So whatever time that you have given, Based on that, you will start. And where these options are available? For that, you go to orchestrator, click on the folder, go to automations, right? And there you have triggers. So orchestrator folder automation trigger. So what is the path? So if I ask you, what is the path? How do you enable trigger, right? How do you enable triggers so if this question is asked then your answer is go to orchestrator then you go to folder then you go to automations then you click on the triggers tab right so when you go here you would find there are four different types of triggers time triggers queue triggers event triggers api triggers so time trigger, it always starts with the time. What about time that you have given? For example, if you go to time trigger and click on add new trigger. So let's say I want to start ABC process. Okay. So I'm saying uh, some process. So let, let us write something. So this process I would like to start every day, right? Every daily, I want to start at how many hours? So let's say I'm going to say 8 a.m., 8 hours. So every day, this process is going to start at 8 a.m. So this is an example of time-based trigger. Now let's understand the queue-based trigger. Now for queue-based trigger, what is the parameter? Like time was the parameter for the previous one. For the queue-based trigger, the parameter is new items added to the queue. If you remember this one word, new items, anytime there are new items added to the queue, this trigger gets started. So for that, you simply go back to the trigger section, leave page. Now here you have the queue trigger. If you click on this and click on add a new trigger, you can create a trigger anytime there are values added to a specific queue, right? Anytime there are values added to the specific queue that this entire demo of queue trigger please do watch my previous video i have shown you how do you create a queue trigger how do you utilize all these options everything is shown in that video so kindly watch the previous video so queue trigger what is the area new items added to the queue this is the parameter right based on this it, or this is the condition based on this it is going to start the process or start the job right now let's take an example, queue-based trigger. 
for example you do not know for example placing order on a website placing orders on a website do you know at what time the order will be placed by a user we don't know right in such cases this queue based triggers are very very helpful any time we do not know around the time prediction we don't know at what time things will come so any time the order is placed you want to take action you want to take action and process that order so in such a case queue based trigger is an ideal way any time there is an let's say there are some 10 pro, I, orders has been placed so at the moment 10 orders are placed i am starting my bot hey process all those 10 so based on the items are added to the queue you are starting this is an example of a queue based trigger and i have a detailed video on this particular example now let's talk about the third trigger so what is the third trigger the third trigger is event triggers okay now for event triggers event means for example i'll give you some example what is a event trigger for example a file got a file uploaded to a share drive folder so if a file getting uploaded to share drive folder so this is happening on external application external application so this trigger will be monitoring what share drive so this example i have given in my integration services integration services this entire video is there if a file getting uploaded or file getting created i you want to start a job you want to start a process right start a job then this called event trigger let me give you one more example of a event trigger for example uh, let's take an example of service now even this video is there on my youtube service now integration service okay how do you connect using integration service with service now application let's a ticket getting created when the ticket gets created you would like to start a job so this also an example of a event trigger which continuously monitor the external applications and based on certain event happening in that application for example event of somebody creating a ticket to your team then you would like to start a job so this is called as event trigger so how many different what is a trigger trigger is a is an event where a process or a job get started based on four different parameters one could be it could be a time based trigger the parameter is a time we would like to schedule the job every day at 8 am so that is an example of a time based trigger queue based trigger it always depends on the number of items added to the queue so while creating a queue based trigger you have provided a condition saying if there are 10 items for an example in the queue then you start a job right those conditions if you provide that becomes a queue based trigger now event based trigger it depends on the external application this can be used through integration service or event trigger activities in your app studio event trigger activities in ui path studio there are also activities available for various various events happening on an application that we can check we can start using this three two different options now the fourth option that is a newly added option that is known as api triggers what is it api triggers so what are api triggers let me show you so these are event triggers now api triggers the moment for example i am uploading some data let's say or i am fetching some data from an application get from this application i am getting some data using the api the moment i get it i would like to start a process i would like to start certain process in my orchestrator so it will always look at the api execution once it is able to collect all the data right then it will the process will start so this api based trigger is a new one which we can cover in a separate video in detail but for now 
you are understanding there are four different kinds of triggers one is time based trigger queue based trigger event based trigger and api based trigger so these are the four learnings that you have got in this video so thank you guys anybody who has watched this video till the end and hearing me till now kindly do comment i would like to know the persons who have patience to listen to the entire lecture thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next video